I'm Cynthia Manette. I'm a visual artist based in Los Angeles. I started working with recycled plastics in 2009. I was invited to do an exhibit that was right next to a recycling facility. I was super excited about the possibility of combining materials like plastics that would allow you to see light in them. For the Migrations project, I started wanting to research specifically what kind of bird I might make for the exhibit since birding is such a huge part of life in McAllen. I happened upon the Roseate Spoonbill, which I discovered is kind of a poster child for a lot of different issues relating to water and the environment. I make anatomical and structural drawings, and then I make conceptual drawings that sort of give an idea of what the gesture of the animal might be or what the piece might look like in its environment. The fact that the sculptures are made out of plastics draws attention to the enormous problem of plastics in water and in landfills. I've used kiddie pools to generate the pink, large, triangular feather shapes that you see on the top part of the wings. And then the eyes are contact lens cases. A lot of the challenge comes from trying to find the right kind of bottle shape that is going to help tell the story. For this project, I have collaborated with Vaughn Hannon to help me with the lighting design. Each bird can have a different quality based on the different kind of temperature and palette of colored light. I really wanted to simulate the beauty of the roseate spoonbill and the spread of the wings and the flash of the color that happens when they open their wings. I wanted the sound to be a surprise that would add to your experience. When I looked along the river, I found objects like there's a hat that says New York on it. There's a sandal that says Hecho in Mexico. There are cigarettes hanging from the beaks are earbuds. There's a little necklace that says Te Amo. There are fragments of Homeland Security bags. I wanted to include them in the work so that they can help draw attention to this issue having to do with the border. Around the world, migration is really an issue with people wanting to leave countries that they're in. They are often met with barriers not being allowed into those places of safe haven. Birds are also subject to the needs of being able to land safely as they migrate. And I thought that this might be a great analogy to tie these two types of migrations together in ways that will provoke conversation and thought. When you see the work, you can take away from it what you are comfortable with so that you can enjoy them both on just their aesthetic value or you can dig deeper into what the various political and environmental messages might be.